Okay, hello fellow Christian Headbangers. Welcome to another episode of SparkyZilla 85's Christian Rock and Metal Show. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you my Christian music CD collection. Uh, uh, it includes Christian rock, metal, rap, and um, and pop. I was just going to do the Christian rock and metal, but, you know, I figured I'll just show the whole nine yards. So first off is um, the Mortification, the Intense Year's 30th Anniversary box set. I've got that sitting over here right now because I don't really have a better spot for it. Um, I would show you the inside, but um, that's good. I'm going to try to keep this video as quick as possible, so let's uh, just keep on going. And uh, continuing with the uh, Mortification albums, uh, hopefully you can see all this. Um, getting a little bit of glare from the camera, but uh, I tried shooting this video before, and uh, without the light from the camera, everything looked blurry, but uh, anyhow... So we got the self-titled albums, and then this one is the double disc album where you get the self-titled album and scrolls of the, the Megaloth. So that's pretty cool. And you got scrolls of the Me Megaloth, uh, post momentary Affliction, Grind Planetarium, uh, Break the Curse. Um, this is the Roll Productions release, and then this is the 20th anniversary edition where it's um, kind of like a, a golden color. I got uh, Blood World, Primitive Rhythm Machine, um, Best of Five Years, uh, Live at the Voice uh, 3296, um, Evision Evangeline, Triumph of Mercy, both the, uh, the Metal Blade and the Roll Productions version, Hammer of God, which if you know, if remember from past videos, uh, this is my first Mortification album. Uh, this is the album that got me hooked on Mortification. And once again, please forgive the glare. Like I said, uh, this stuff doesn't show up as well if I don't have the light from the phone turned on. But anyhow, we got uh, Ten Years Live Not Dead, um, Silver Cord is Severed, Relentless, um, Power, Pain, and Passion, Rain Cleaner, Erasing the Goblin. Now for um, this one, I've got um, this release. And then I also have the, uh, let's see here, the, uh, whoops, there it is. The Sound Mass version for this one that comes with the, the uh, bonus tracks. Live Humanitarian. Evil Addiction Destroying Machine. Now, for Scribe of the Pentateuch, I have um, this one, which was the first version, if I remember correctly. With this uh, clawed-like machine right on the, scry on the squirrels there. And uh, this one is the, uh, the other version, with the bat being impaled by a sword. Released by Rogue Productions on Sound Mass. Then we got um, uh, Realm of the Skeletor, and then this one, Shades of Death. Um, this is kind of like a greatest hits album. This was released um, a couple years ago when Steve Rowe uh, had that stroke. It was, uh, you know, um, basically to um, to, uh, to to get some money for him to, to you know help him out. And we got Light Force, and we got uh, Crimson Thorn. Um, this is Unearthed, this is the newer version from Bombworks, this is, um, I don't know if you would call it the original version of this album, but, uh, that's, uh, the one, uh, released by, I believe that's Rex. And then this one, this is Unearthed for Dissection, so this is both Unearthed and Dissection. So it's a two CD set. And then this one, uh, Purification. This one I got from um, Divine Metal Distro back in the day. And uh, let's see here. Let me just uh, skip the song here real quick. Okay. And uh, let's see here. And then this is the um, Bombworks uh, records where it's all three Crimson Thorn albums. Taking the Head of Goliath. Now this is the one that I pre-ordered. So it's got the other autographs from everybody in the band, um, Luke Grano and, um, 
Boy, I'm trying to remember the other members' names right now. I hate it when that happens, because... I'm friends with Luke Reynolds and the um, the lead singer of um, Taking the Head of Goliath on uh, on Facebook, and I just can't remember his name right now, and this is going to drive me crazy. But anyhow, let's keep this going. We got uh, Impending Dooms albums, Nailed Dead Resin, Serpent Servant, There Will Be Violence, Baptized in Filth, Death Will Reign, and the Sin and, Sin and Doom Volume 2. And we got uh, Demon Hunters albums, self-titled, uh, Summer of Darkness, the Triptychs, I think that's how you pronounce that. Storm the Gates of Hell, World is a Thorn, True Defiance, uh, Extremist. Yes, I gotta dust this stuff. <laughs> and we got um, Outlive, War and Peace, um, Postmortem. Um, now this is Rise Above Ruin, and then this one's called The Road Ahead, or Road Ahead, sorry, but basically it's it's the same. It's the... Uh, the, the the um, same um, track listing. It's just, if I remember correctly, the um, audio quality on this one is better. And we got uh, uh, Anti-Demons albums. Some of these are the uh, the Vision of God Records release. Um, this is original. And then, like this one here, this is the Roll Productions release of Apocalypse Now. But I also do have the Vision of God um, release, and the reason why it's up here, because it doesn't, uh, fit into the CD holder, and then, uh, these are some of the compilation albums that I have, maybe in a separate video, I'll show you, show you what these all look like, uh, separately, but anyhow, um, here's, uh, my collection of, uh, Ultimatum albums, this one here, um, Puppet of Destruction, this was my, uh, first album from them I ever heard. This is the, uh, the Roll Productions version. I gotta get the, uh, remastered one to add to my collection sometime. And we got, uh, Hortor, um, Ancient Satanic Rituals or Crushed in Dust. That was my first ever, ever, um, uh, Christian black metal album. I Built the Cross, oh, a delightfully brutal album. And we got, uh, A Hill to Die Upon. This one right here, um, Omens, that was my first album from them uh, that I ever heard and then, you know, went on from there to get in their uh, other albums. Then we got Abated Mass of Flesh. I've got, uh, I don't know if, I don't think I have all of their albums, but I, I've got most of them. And we got, uh, Sympathy. Um, very good Christian metal death band. Um, this one I got off of, um, I think this was also, uh, Divine Metal Distro, because I just did a search for Camel Corpse, and the description said, you know, they had kind of a similar sound. I don't know if I would agree with that or not, but, uh, still a very good album. And then we got, uh, the War of Ages albums. Uh, this one was my first album from them, Arise and Conquer. <laughs> Very good uh, metalcore if you're into metalcore. And then um, this is their newest album, Void. One thing I would have to say, I um, I hate these Digipack releases. Because, um, well, it's all cardboard. I prefer a good old-fashioned uh, plastic case because, in my opinion, it'll last longer. But uh, here's Immortal Souls. Um, this one here, the rec. Requiem for the Art of Death. This was uh, my first album from them. Well, speaking of uh, taking the head of Goliath, I don't know if you heard not got playing the background, but anyhow, here's Immortal Souls for All Eternity. Very good. Um, I don't know if you would call them deathcore, but uh, very good, very good music. And we got uh, Flesh Killer, and we got. Uh, Three of uh, A Plea for Purging's albums, For Today Portraits, that's a good one. Goliath, if you're looking for some uh, Christian doom metal, if you can uh, get a hold of this album, The, Ga the Gate, um, I would say buy it. Um, it's uh, really good Christian doom metal. And we got uh, Miseration, uh, Your Demons, Their Angels, uh, Paramecium, yet again, this is another one of those, uh, the Bombworks um, Gold Disc Edition. Uh, 
Pantel Crater, I believe this I pronounce their name. I still got need I still have to pick up Incarnate. Now these here, I'll have to pull them out. Um, these are uh, not exactly digi packs, but they're just you know the cardboard sleeves. We got uh, the Simulator uh, factions. That's Jared Dines band, and then this Divided World. Uh, the missing pages. This is the original release. I still gotta get the. Um... Oh, it's even autographed. How can I forget about that? Oh well. <laughs> uh, anyhow, how I still gotta get the Vision of God uh, version of that. I'll put those back later. Um, let's see here: Broken Flesh, Revulsed, Discern, uh, Death Requisite. Uh, with blood comes uh, cleansing. I've got the horror album. I gotta get the other one, which uh, name escapes me at the moment. And then, uh, let's see, we got uh, Becoming the Archetype. Um, I just ordered um, Terminate Dam Damnation off of Half Price Books, and that should be arriving sometime this week. And then we got In the Mist of uh, Lions. And then, uh, gotta go over here. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> and I'll just kind of scroll through this. We've got Comrades, Eyes of the Defiled. Uh... Thy Bleeding Skies. I'm not going to name off everything. If you want to get a good look, just, you know, pause the video or ask me to do another video in the future on individual albums. But this one, <laughs> uh, Vomitorial Corpulence, um, <sighs> a Carionic um, Hactician. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. This album is a hoot. It's basically grindcore, and this first one here, Self -extin Extinction. <laughs> it, it's, it, we'll just check it out. Um, I'll, uh, the, the best way I can describe it is the Deranged Chicken Man. <laughs> You'll find out what I'm talking about. And uh, let's see here, Torch of Conscious, Morbid Sacrifice, Demonic... Uh, Demo De I don't know how you pronounce this band's name, but... Um, I think one of these, yeah, this one's a, a split here with uh, Sabbatarium. I think this is the one that's got like the, um, oops, no, nope, wrong one. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, the uh, uh, Satanist Advisory Christian Lyrics. <laughs> I just got, I just get a kick out of that. Anyhow, uh, keep going. Got Soul Embraced, Every Knee Shall Bow, Decayed Existence. The Order of Elijah, that's before the lead singer decided he didn't want to be a Christian anymore. Got Krig, uh, this is The Soul's Unrest, Saving Grace. As you can tell, I got quite the different varieties of Christian metal here. Most of it's um, death, but there is uh, other stuff. Necroblation, As I Lay Dying, these are all my um, <sighs> pylon, pylon, however you pronounce it. Thresher's Here I Am. That's a really good album. Uh, we got uh, Tourniquet, Where Moth and Rust Destroy. That was my first ever Tourniquet album. That's a good one. Let's see here. And uh, let's see here. Tourniquet, Tourniquet, Tourniquet. Uh, Seventh Angel. This is the uh, this is a remastered release from Retroactive Records. Uh, Showdown. Um, Sacrament. Sleeping Giant, Seven Horns, Seven Eyes, Martyr Shrine. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I can't remember the name. I can't, I can't quite read it from here. Necroman Necromancer knows the Ranvier under oath. Yeah, that one. I'm especially like this one. I'm kind of cheating because they're another ones. Oh, we're no longer a Christian van, but I just you know put it in here because that's what they're kind of labeled. We got Lament, Feast Internal. Flayed Alive. I also have the, uh, there's like a um, cardboard one, but I'm not going to pull that out. Shadow Puncher, uh, Prayers Alpha. Yet again, uh, Vision of God Records. Sky Metal, Gore Death. <laughs> this is, um, who is this? Uh, oh, Wicked's End. This is <laughs> basically his folded cardboard. Um, got that one off of eBay. Uh, now it's stuck. Um, let's see here. Derisonation. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Um, Final Prophecy. Got some Living Sacrifice. I gotta try to find their older stuff. Deliverance. Loyal, 
Royal Anguish, um, Bloodthirsty, Apostasy, Demonic Extinction, Vengeous Rising, Saint, David Venson. Uh, that's really good stuff if you want something that kind of sounds like uh, Ozzy. Uh, and Cryptor, The Blessed, uh, basically has uh, like uh, blackened death metal. And that's this one. Um, let's see here, this is... Who is this? Uh, oh, I'll have Send. Um, can't remember. Are there Deathcore? Well, obviously one of the versions of Extreme, you know, Christian Metal. And, um, of course, that one doesn't say anything on the side. This is, um, uh, I can't quite make it out. But this is from that Norsol uh, Records or Recordings. That was actually a Christian Mail label out of uh, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin here that sadly went out of business. Uh, Crushing Deceiver, Proclaimers, Terraphobia, uh, Soul Factor, Symphony of Heaven, Scald and Venom, Metanoia, Incubus. No, not that Incubus, the other one. Um, I forgot what they're going by now. Uh, these I'll have to show off some other time. Um, Gonna be a pain in the butt trying to get those out. I'm just gonna just kinda go through what we have here. Just trying to, you know, speed this along. Um, a lot of Vision of God records in my collection. Um, also, Face Down records. Oh, Project 86 here. Now we're getting into apologetics. And now we're getting into more of the, the rock stuff. Pillar. Gotta love Pillar. But anyhow, I've also got uh, Fairmount Bomb Works, Rottweiler, got some Cutlass here, Third Day, Hyperstatic Union, uh, very good, um, kind of like a groove rock. Um, they only put out two albums, and then sadly the lead singer died. Day of Fire, Todd Agnew, Petra, Brian D Duncan, um, this is Slow Revival, my all-time favorite album from him. Got Newsboys, um... More Newsboys, Earth Suit, Kaleidoscope uh, Superior. Oh, awesome album. Uh, Christafari, Soulfire. Just love that album. And uh, a lot of these albums you would recognize if you grew up in the, um, the 90s, early 2000s. And almost at the end here, got Falling Up. This one's actually autographed. I'll have to show that off some other time. Fireflight, um... Flyleaf, Striper, a whole bunch of DC talk. That was my first ever Christian band that I really got hooked on. Toby Mac. KG52, great Christian rapper. Um, Cross Movement, and John Rubin. And holy cow, <laughs> that's my collection. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see anything more up close in the future, just let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, that's just pr pretty much it for now. Peace and all good that good stuff, and God bless all of you. This is SparkyZilla85.